Okay, in this video, we want to evaluate trig functions. If we did this by hand, we would actually do this mentally, but we can do this in the calculator quite easily. So if we want to solve trig functions on the TI Inspire, first we want to make sure we're in radians. It says I'm in radians, but just to show you guys how to make your calculator in radians, we'll go over it now. So first I will go to doc, I will go to settings and status, and I'll hit document settings. So right now my angle is in radians, so that's good because I want my answer to be in radians. If this for example was say sine 85, 85 degrees, I would hit degree and I would say make default, hit OK. But since I'm in radians, which I want, I will simply say make default, it'll say OK, and we have radians. And so now we want to answer these three. So I'll hit trig, sine, we'll hit control, division, we have 5 pi over 4. So 5 times, we hit the pi icon, we have pi divided by 4. Simply hit enter, and this is the answer. Next, we'll do cosine 7 pi over 4. So trig, cosine, control, division, we write 7 times uh, pi divided by 4. We hit enter, and this is the answer. Lastly, we do tan pi over 3. So trig, tan, we do control, division, we write pi divided by 3, like this, hit enter, and we get square root of 3. And that's how we can solve uh, trig functions on the TI Inspire. So main takeaway was make sure your calculator is in uh, radians if you want radians. So that's, once again, doc, settings, uh, document settings, and you change angle from degree to radians. And that's it.